Hello everyone, it is I, yet again, Clawmaster. It's Saturday night. I have no date. A two liter bar of Shasta, my all rush mixtape. Let's talk about the video. <laughs> I just want to throw that in there. Anyways, hi again everyone. Um, so, uh, this is going to be in the last episode I did for the online miniseries. Uh, the adventures of Clawmaster getting his debut cancelled. Um, so I'll go into details regarding that. After which, in terms of what other videos I plan to make in the future, well, um, I would say kind of whatever I can think of. Um, I might even start experimenting with like game news or uh, other ideas. I do have another v I do have another uh, VTuber model that I have in, in the in the uh, for now, which I might end up using really soon just for the hell of it. And it's not my official VTuber model. Uh, it is a joke one I found on Twitter. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that may happen. <laughs> I might be uh, some sort of thing in the future after which. But, yeah, this will be the last one. Um, and uh, I'll go into details regarding this one. My overall thoughts on the whole entire series. And and so on so without further ado let's get right into the action all right i'm back and this is episode 60 last and final thing i did um to announce that my de de debut was canceled so originally this idea what i was going to do with I actually was going to go live on stream i was actually going to promote like yes I am debuting on this day on June 18th uh, and set everything up and I talked to a few people and uh, realized that maybe that's not the best way to go about it I might piss some people off if I do end up doing that way so I just made another video uh, in the length of the, uh, the tw no that's a Twitter it was like on its own like much longer than Twitter um, but uh, I wanted to say, uh, yeah, so this one, this one was pretty much the, the the announcement of my debut was being canceled. And the way that this was going to be was an actual confrontation between the two or three. Between Clawmaster, between Eli, and, bet and between the main villain. In terms of like what, what idea or what, what possibly could lead in the future with the with the actual story of season one of Clawmaster. So in regards to that, this was pretty easy to kind of think of in terms of like how I want to approach it is basically uh, like the stream is being hacked or the, the you know, in this case, the video uh, was being hacked and it was um, being shut down one by one. And then at the very end, you know, you just see complete blackness and then the actual like, hey, TBA debut. Um, so a, a lot of it contains subtitles in terms of like who you knew was talking. So blue was for Eli, red was for Clawmaster, and the villain was like a, like a more pinkish red with that glow in the background. So basically that I didn't have anything like in terms of, like you know was I inspired by anything now this is kind of off the top of my head in terms of, like you know what would happen what would what, what would happen if the debut did happen and this evil villain was trying to shut me down um and if he had the power to he would just do it that way in terms of like shutting down the the facilities uh and uh you know hurting Eli in the process and then talking menacingly to Clawmaster so yeah I, I really don't have much else to say it was just kind of off the top of my head it wasn't inspired by anything else and it, i felt like that was the right way to end the series so um with that being said i think I, if i had to file i will show you guys the behind the scenes look of what this process was for the video editing portion and we are back and this time talking about the behind the scenes for the last episode uh, in the in the in the uh, 
video editing aspect. So, um, for this, I believe there wasn't much added in terms of special effects. Um, there is a spe there is an effect that was used, um, but uh, it was uh, I think used for everything that was popping up. So, uh, let me go ahead and just turn this to quarter so that my computer doesn't completely die. Okay, so um, what's in here? I believe is just the text. So much of this was nothing too um, complicated. They were just placed in the sections of the video where you can see, but also uh, a good indicator in terms of who was talking and what was the back and forth between uh, one or two people that were talking to one another just to make it clear and the same text he used in the last episode in episode 5 um, was uh, the same thing for the, uh, the text for the villain and how that process went if you're curious to see how that went go check out the last episode 5 and how I explained how I did it <laughs> um, so uh, with that being said, was there anything else in here? Um, there was, I believe this was the glitch, yep, which was just a footage I have, uh, which again, I have tons and tons of footage on my computer that I, B-rolls and other ideas that have been, uh, thought of, I do have. So this was the, the glitch that was coming forth, I believe, uh, come on, computer, computer's really struggling. And let me just go ahead and close this. Um, no. Because the computer is saying, please don't do at the same time. Anyways. Okay, hopefully that, hopefully that helps. Okay. So yeah, so at the very end of the, of the video, you see like a countdown timer. And in the very end, it went from 618... 2021 to um, hang on tick I'm just gonna get rid of that for now uh, right here TBA yes so uh, in terms of how I did this so this effect ha the way it works is that you would see each letter as you saw in the previous video um, each letter would change on its own. It would be A, to B, it would be a number. Kind of very much like uh, how uh, 24 uh, was modeled afterwards, the the intro to 24. So same idea. Um, and in terms of how this works, it's basically you would animate each frame or each letter a different letter. So on, say, frame, uh, say um, for, I mean, right here, I say for a 12, Two twelve zero zero, it's gonna be E, but then the next actually, let me show you what I mean because that makes it a little easier to to uh, explain what's happening. Let's see, where, where are you? Where are you? Oh, I don't have it on here. Okay, that's fine. I'll just say the number. Sure. Okay, so numbers. All right, let's do it that way. So twelve ten zero zero on one frame. And then change it to 5, 17, 27 in the next frame. So it um, basically, that's pretty much what you do for each frame. So uh, eventually then you would go ahead and, and transition to this, uh, which is I think a simple just like cut when the actual thing ends. Um, and then the next letters or numbers that would spell out would be the actual debut date TBA. Um, in After Effects, the way to do this, simple, you just, uh, what you do is you simply just go to wherever you want to start this change and you would click on source text. Um, and I should actually, here, let me, let me go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> Um, so source text is what you would want to click on and then from there it will make one keyframe or the exact point where you start right at the start of that red bar um, so then 
the next frame let's see I'm just gonna go here and close it up so each little tick is a frame and this frame is 5 6 21 and you can every time you click on a text to, to make a letter or anything else on this particular mark means that everything within this is, is uh, happening and it is set up so when you go to the next frame you notice that and when you go to the next frame usually it is now one zero one eleven zero seven it's because I went to the text I changed the text on this very next frame and it changed and it changed same idea with every other frame or with every frame in this sequence so uh, basically go in that order and you'll have the same effect in terms of the lettering uh, it is green the or the uh, let's see the glow it's an outer glow so an outer glow a green outer glow for this and then the lettering uh, is OCRA extended font so if you want to do the same thing like I did all of those steps in a very vague fashion of course it's probably a better way to explain it if you go online on YouTube honestly <laughs> um, but yes that was basically what was in here um, I will go ahead because it seems like I did most of the work in Premiere Pro from the looks of it so I will go ahead and switch over. I'm just gonna double check real quick just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, I was done in uh, done in Premiere Pro. Okay, I'm going to go switch to Premiere Pro real quick. So let so give me a second. All right, and now here is the most of the work I did on the video through Premiere Pro. Now. When it comes to the editing process for this part, um, honestly, much of the real work, honestly, was making sure the audio clips were in the order, and I had to record like for three different people. Um, so that was, I think, the most complicated out of this video, because everything else, wise, uh, is just images and this glitch effect I have uh, when it comes to. Uh, the, the video you see on screen uh, and that's about it honestly <laughs> uh, really much anything else like there was um, what was it uh, there is let me see if I can find it yes so that mist that you see that 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 effect that is let's see if I can find it uh, let's see is this it uh, I believe so yep it is okay so this effect is what I, I it was labeled as uh, dust that uh, was it does UHD blue that MLV, MLV uh, which basically amounts to this is a special video effect that I had that I again I have in my library of stuff I can use um, and this was one of the effects I was able to use, able to get. And I believe the sound effect itself is called uh, Spaceship Engine Shutdown 01, which I got from the website I'm subscribed to. It has been definitely been a big help in terms of getting these videos done. Now, this effect, I don't think I did anything to him, but let me check. Nope. The only thing I did was just uh, op opacity because I already had a transparent background when I input it in. So basically it means when this disappears, this comes on screen. And then when it does slowly fade out, it is disappearing into the screen. And that's pretty much about it. <laughs> uh, nothing really too complicated again. Like the only complicated thing I did was the audio itself in terms of how that was set up. So, yeah that was that's pretty much about it regarding this entire video uh so before i end it all of course let me get back into my layer for a second so to end every, my entire thoughts on the entire process and what have i've made and done 
throughout the, t the little time I had. Um, my full thoughts are that this is, this has always been a platform for myself to get creative and make videos of any type. And when it came to the VTuber space, uh, it, it gave me an opportunity to flex my creative muscles and say, okay, let's make an actual mini story about what's happening and why the debut is being canceled. And that thought process just kind of began to downhill into what ideas I could think of and with, with limited resources I had at the time to make them. Um, it was cool. Like, hey, anything that gets me going and gets me wanting to create videos and be cr creative, it's something I've always loved to do. And as you can see through this and you will see in the future, you know, the type of videos I like to edit and make. Um, you know, it, 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 co it goes in line in terms of what content I want to aim for and what, as a video editor, definitely want to strive for. Um, and, you know, as someone who, oh, who makes videos all the time on whatever it be a job or projects or what have you, um, whenever I make videos, I definitely am very over ambitious at times. And if there's something I really want to get done, I aim to make it and make it happen. Even if it comes, if, if it comes close, I'll be happy with that as well. But yeah, like I, I think that whatever gives me the opportunity to get better at a video editing or graphic uh, thing that lets me kind of continue to get better and improve upon myself, I'm I'm always up for it. So when it came to this, I wanted to bring a much more cinematic feel of storytelling into the VTuber scene that. I like to, to go and I like to go into more and get better at. Um, so this is like a taste of what's to come in the future when I eventually will debut uh, in the VTuber scene at some later date. So yeah, uh, again, this is, this is it's been exper an experiment for myself, but experiment to see how it goes online and whether like it gets. No views at all, maybe a couple of views. I'm happy with what I have made. As an artist, like I've always wants to, I want to keep creating. And if it gets a, a an effect from people that responds to it in some capacity, that's cool. And if it doesn't, that's also cool as well. So and in, in a sense, I am, yes, I am all about the, the creating aspect and don't care about the money. I just do it because it's, it's fun and it, it's fun <laughs> basically that so it was a fun experiment it was a fun thing I, le I i did and i think that having short form video content is something that i would definitely toy around with be it funny be it uh these behind the scene looks or be it uh anything else i can think of in terms of, like you know how to tackle this situation or how to tackle this creative idea that i want to do in this short uh, time span so and you'll continue to see me do that in the future for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look of the behind the. I hope you guys enjoyed this look behind the scenes regarding the entire process of me, not only idea wise, why I made the decisions to come with the story, but also why I edited this particular video footage to uh, each one, to each, each episode and explain my thought process and editing process so with that being said i thank you all for watching i thank you all for listening i know these videos have been on and off for the past couple months um and that's that's fine with me it's you know life and all but i i am very grateful for those who have followed me thus far on twitter and grateful for those who actually took took took, took time um to uh, to listen and to watch something even if it interests them or not your eyes on what I do is something that I strive for and that I want to broadcast to the world and not just myself in an empty room so with that being said thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time